Gerardo Benavides will lead things off. He's the center fielder. He's 0 for 1. And that first pitch from Wheel is in for strike one. One up, one down on the strikeout. So Wheel picks up where is the right one. Slow roll to third. Jacobus up with it. And across the diamond, Padilla is retired. All during the day. Shortstop, Reika, who throws a strike, which is what he does. And a one, two, three inning. Jalen Wheel, U13 level. Good pitch. That's a strikeout. Reika is gone, gone, and Weir in 36 innings. And he does that. He could break a ball in the inner half of the plate, and Zarate, whose fastball's been right around 70 miles an hour already. Wheel into right, close to the foul line, but it's fair. And Jalen Wheel swings to the first one, and he is the first base runner today. Get who his favorite who player is? On the ground, a second. Ellis, and he will throw to second. Covering its shortstop was Jimenez. Chase is one high, and he is gone. That is strikeout number two for Wheel. Still efficient, um, but as well as on defense. Very good shortstop. Good pitch. Boy, Wheel, have yourself a start. Big strikeout. He has been perfect through a couple. Jimenez is gone. One, two. There you go. Now you can do it. Strikeout number three for Zarate. And then it would rain and water would start flying all over the place and my dad would get warm right away. And then we had to clean the gutters out. That's better. That's a punch out. That's three in the inning. That's five in the game. And David Zarate has got him on their feet from Mexico. Not Canada. Actually, yes, Canada. There you winter, go. Yep. Winter League. Winter League in a Canada. Summer League. Because summer League. College, <laughs> college Summer League. College Summer League. Disney during Christmas. Slow roll to third. And that's another one, two, three inning for Jadlin Wheel. And now it's Zarate's turn. Ooh. Mm. Ouch. Yeah. Because it's going to hurt. You try to you try to rub it. You try to get to it you with can. the hand, but you can't. <laughs> That's the tough one. W which, which one of those do you remember the most? This team beat Cuba. Cordelia had a big hit in that game. He's struck out here. He's really a, a soccer fan and a soccer star. He pops this one up on the infield, or unless the second baseman is there. A double is part of those three hits. He squares the bunt, pulls it down the line. Zarate, a little underhand for the out. And that will do it. We're going a little small ball here. We got one hit so far. We are halfway through the Little League World Series. Got his feet right inside that box. That's where you got to go. Good job. Jadlin Wheel, fifth strikeout. Because that's what happens. I mean, you crawl on top of the plate, and, and it's, it's not a comfortable feeling. Morning. All of a sudden, the ball will head your way. Right to second baseman. And he was ready for it. Well, the Sia, and there are two down. You know what they call that? What do they call it? The X Factor. Uh-oh. Straight away center. Acosta looks at it. It's gone. David Zarate. He hits his second homer here in Williamsport. And Mexico has a 1-0 lead. And this is probably just one of the few mistakes that Wheel has made just right over the plate. And when you get to Miguel Padilla and David Zarate, they will find a way to take advantage of something left over the middle. Zarate does a nice job of getting a pitch, middle in, and he just deposits this thing to dead center. That is a shot straight away, right back where it came from, but over that center field fence. That's one nothing Mexico. I'll have a game, David Zarate. He's allowed one hit. He delivers the first hit for Mexico, and it is a home run. First man to touch a base, touches them all. 
And that's one of the things, too, is if you get an opportunity kind of that second time around through the order you've already seen up through the baseball. Here comes Acosta, and he's right there and made that look, look easy, like Andrew Jones used to make it. Yeah, Tim is right. We'll talk a little bit more about Hawaii when we come back. Hawaii does a lot of this. They hit five of those yesterday. So Rante hits the first one today for Mexico. Right back at you. He'll flip to first, and he's in complete control right now. David Zarate, the 12-year-old, 5'6", 112-pounder. Three balls, two strikes to Bonifacia. Oh. Down. Backing up and flipping to his pitcher is Gomez. Zarate's there to cover. That does it. Saturday, 12.30 Eastern Time, ABC, the International Championship game. Hungry is a great event to check out. This is on the ground. Ooh, Wait a second. Yes, sir. Jacobus. Oh, yeah. wow. From his backside makes a great throw. And that is a web gem. Hold on, hold on. I've got to see this again because this ball was scalded down the line by Cuesta. But Jacobus being so alert and ready. That's a two hop, snags it down the line, stays on his legs, Ooh. and fires it over across the diamond. It's like two great plays. I mean, one is to glove it, and the other just to get to his knees and throw a seed across the diamond. That, that was a pretty good start to the inning. Into the wall, hat fell off behind him, and the ball ended up in his glove. That's a strikeout. Here's Jules. That's only one of 30, I heard. Yeah, yeah 25 out of 30. Here it is. I don't know if you saw my pins, Caden Kiwanis Club. We'll talk about that later. Maybe we'll even have a little trade off. Call strike three. Amparador was on his way to first base. The bat was heading to the dugout instead. Another punch out for Zarate, his seventh. Dad Giovanni with him here in Williamsport. That is under the glove of Jesus Gomez. And DeCaster uses that big bat and that strength to get on with a single. So this one down, man on. So you might be able to try to place it over there at second base if you hit it hard enough. Got that one down. Foul ball. Home play and umpire was all over. It said foul ball. It seemed to get back into the batter's box when it was touched. Good luck right here. I'm pretty close. I mean, obviously the, the baseline doesn't extend. I mean, imaginarily, it extends all the way through the, the sides of home plate. But when you think about Garcia trying to figure out, okay, should I pick this one up fair? Should I pick it up foul? Should I try to get a throw off? You also see the mask was also in play mm -hmm. down there while he was trying to pick up the ball. So they're not reviewing it. It is a challenge. Foul ball will end the attack. Foul! And that's it. So Foul. he's out. And back to first will go to Castor. Not a lot of faith in the hitter there. They kept telling him on both bases. First base, third base coach. Get it down. Square the bat. Now they go way outside. And he got too much of the plate. Placed that one into right field. The caster flying to third base, and Curacao is in business. Down to second base. They will hold it up there. Second and third. Reka delivers. Now Reka delivers here, but the caster was actually supposed to hold up at second. Manager was holding him up. You'll see him at third base coach holding up his arms to stop at second. We didn't get it there, but with DeCaster's speed, he was able to get himself around second and get to third. At least he committed early, knowing that he was going to round and get himself over to third. Now you got two runners in scoring position here. Well, we sit a short over the head of Jimenez, and we are tied now heading to second heads up Luisa they throw it into center field that allows Luisa's Reichen score. to score and Luisa's not stopping here he comes here's the throw out oh, at the plate yeah, on 
the slide. Out, out. A big collision at the plate. Garcia is down. Luisa ran him over. Curacao leads it two to one. Now you have to credit Luisa being able to put contact on this baseball, getting it over the head of Jimenez. And then we kind of get the snowball fight, right? We get some balls being thrown into the outfield. Zavala goes after it, gets it in quick enough, but Luis is not stopping around third, like you said, Ravi, and he's coming in hard. No slide oh, attempt. No, on the slide. Oh. And Garcia does a nice job of at least holding himself to be able to put the tag on and still be able to hold on to the ball after he hits the ground. Luis was tagged. He was also going to be called out for offensive interference. He did not slide. When we come back, 8, 9, and 1 for Mexico, who all of a sudden finds themselves down in this game, 2-1. to one. An error cost him. Now they trail 2-1. to one. That's ball four. Good start. Mexico with the leadoff man on, thanks to a walk. Bunt down, fair ball, good one. They'll throw to first. Nice play. Wheel, tough one because Zavala was running straight down the line right in front of him, and it was easy to throw that off of the base runner. Sends this one into shallow right. And Parador, nice play, and there are two down. He got a good read and a really nice play by the right fielder for the second out. A game that has not had a lot of energy is now loaded with it. It's over, though. It's caught by the shortstop, Davey J. Rika. And on to the international championship game goes Curacao. They rally with two runs in the bottom of the fifth and win it 2-1. to one. Complete game for Jadlin Wheel. He allowed four hits, two runs. He didn't walk anybody until the last. He strikes out six, and he retires Miguel Padilla on a line drive to short.